Hello guys, and this is a redirect video to my blind commentary to Wakfu Season 1, Episode 10, 11, and 12. So it's three episodes. They go ball Inferno Part 1 to 3, in other words. And yeah, link is in the description. Uh, I don't know if the daily motion, daily motion will have to be split into two parts because they only allow like 59 minutes or so, and this is over that. The Vidme one is one whole video, but not the Daily Motion one. So I don't know if the Daily Motion one will even be up by the time this is up, but the Vidme one is up because I have to cut the Daily Motion video in two. So now I'm rendering it. So if you want to watch the Daily Motion, then just wait if it's not in the description. Can you tell that I'm trying to just draw this out? Alright, let's talk a little bit about the actual episodes. Hello, I'm guessing maybe you're back, maybe you're not. I... Because when I say episode, I'm gonna talk about the all three episodes. So if I say the episode, then I mean all three of them. Because I see them as, you know, one episode. Highs and lows, highs and lows. There were parts in this episode where I was so, so bored. And I think it might have been like the worst that this show has ever been. But there were also parts that I really, really loved. For example, I loved the girls in this episode. I think they were all hot as fuck. I liked the character design. I liked the actual game game when they played. I did not like when it was like these was supposed to be funny intermission in the game. That was probably just for them to draw out time for the get of the game, you know, with this making everything eyes or making like the fart thingy. It was boring to me. It just kind of like half time shows that I'm guess exist in sports boring all right i was more interested in the sport of goo ball and also here's the one thing i both loved and hate at the very end when tristepon or groove when he i loved how they made groove in the end he was the one who got like the willpower to stand up and just fuck up Chris. And then, you know, he saved the game. Groove saved everything. And I liked how he helped Hugo up. I said, Hugo, let's both of us go and score this together. I like that. What I did not like is that then, when they reached the goal, instead of both of them ha holding the ball with their hands and then putting it down together, Tristepon just watches as Hugo does it. I would have loved if they did it together. I mean, yeah, Hugo in the end says, me and Groove scored together. You did not score together. He made the assist to you. But I would have loved if they did score together. So that was a missed opportunity. I also did not like, in the beginning, you know, when Groove managed to hold back the entire team, push them back, and grab the ball, and then was gonna run in, and did that, like, touchdown, whatever. And then he did it, an own goal. I would have loved if he actually did score, but then, after they did the score, then the ice thing, if it had to happen, then maybe then it would have happened, and then the morale would have been shit. Because I did not... I would have loved... I would have loved that. Like, give Groove something good. I would have loved if that was the good thing he did in the beginning and the end. Instead of it being like, oh, he fucked up in the beginning and then he did good at the end. I would have loved it if him would have been a great player. Which he was. Groove was great. This episode's... I loved him. And then Eva Evangeline. 
She was so hot and she was just so attractive and loved when she defended Amalia with the shield. Then I liked how she actually went on to date after with that pog. And I read the comment and, and now I read the comment now after I watched this episode of Enutrof Backwards is Fortune and that healer thingy that I don't even remember. Well yeah, that was the girl the fairy Aspirin, her name was backwards. So I'm gonna look into it. So I guess a pog backwards would be Gop. Don't know other if it's not the like the American it's called Great One Party or something. Great Old Party, I guess. The GOP. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I like how she did in the end go out on that date with that player. So, that was nice that she had the honor to actually go on it. Even though I did not, I did not, I did not ship them, by the way. I ship Eva and me in real life. No, I ship Eva with pretty much any anyone. I think she would look pretty attractive having sex with anyone. So, yeah. I mean, I guess everything else... Oh yeah, in the end, they got that one guy that they sold the boat. He's dead now. He's dead. And I love the pirate girl at the end. Or maybe she's the bar owner. She... Man... The girls are just so attractive. 